Ferrari, he also lost his girlfriend via tweet. So yeah. it, uh, not a good day. Johnny Marbles, bad day for him. But Wendy Day, Murdoch's yeah. wife, she actually has her first movie coming out. She's producing this movie, yeah. and some people out there are saying this may actually benefit her because her name's out there now yeah. and has to go head-to-head -head with the Harry Potter movie. This might give it a boost. We shall see. All right, with Jeff Glor in London, we now turn to Betty Wynn at the news desk for another check of the day's headlines. Hey, Betty. Good morning, guys, and good morning, everybody. The budget battle in Washington has turned its focus to a bipartisan Senate plan. The proposal... Women could soon get free contraceptive coverage. A medical advisory group recommended yesterday that as part of the nation's health care overhaul, insurance companies pay for birth control, including the controversial morning after pill. A final decision could be made by August 1st. The Senate holds its first hearing this morning on a bill to overturn the 1996 Defense of Marriage Law. President Obama has announced his support for repealing the law that defines marriage as between a man and a woman. He says the law is unconstitutional. And 75 former pro football players are said to be suing the NFL in a brain injury lawsuit, according to the Wendems. Bob Schieffer now has a preview of tonight's CBS Evening News. This evening news. Let's get a check of the weather outside. Maddie Sal Castro is here with a look at that and the heat wave. The heat, that's right, Betty. Good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. Along with the heat comes the risk of severe weather. And just ask folks in the upper Midwest because they're going to see it today. Not a whole lot of rain, just about an inch. But Minneapolis and Duluth, you're going to see a pop-up shower, including hail, gusty winds that could top 75 miles per hour. And whenever there's severe weather, we always keep a lookout for some tornadoes. Just west of there, the cool air is coming in, making it feel a little bit less oppressive. Bismarck 80, uh, Billings 80, and then the rain, if you want to look for it anywhere today, go to the southeast from Houston uh, through New Orleans, Jacksonville, and even Raleigh. You're going to see a quarter of an inch, about an inch of rain, and we're also going to see some gusty winds associated with the, wind, with the rain. That's a look at the weather across the nation. Now let's see what's happening right outside your window. Thanks so much. That's your latest weather. Now here's Rebecca. Marisol, thanks. In the wake of the Fukushima disaster in Japan, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission here held a public meeting Tuesday to discuss a task force report that recommends sweeping changes at America's 104 nuclear reactors. And this morning, CBS News Chief Investigative Correspondent Armin Katayan is here with part two of his investigation into all of this. Armin, good morning. Good morning, Rebecca. On them. All right, Armin Katayan, as always, we appreciate it. Good you reporting. Bet. Coming up next, Daniel Radcliffe in his own words as Harry Potter flies off. How quickly does SpaceX plan to be able to bring astronauts to and from the International Space Station? According to our schedule, we intend to have the first test flights with people. Not flying. What I saw here was an opportunity to make a real difference and uh, to make a contribution to a whole new... And SpaceX says it, that it's also able to keep costs low by keeping their designs simple. But you don't want anything to be too simple when it comes to space travel. Especially point, if you're Chris. one of those people that's forking over a couple hundred thousand dollars to take that trip. Yeah, absolutely. It'll be interesting to see what happens over the next couple of years, so that's for yeah, well. sure. Now, here's Betty Wynn at the news desk with another check of today's headlines for us this morning. Hi, Betty, once again. Hi there. Good morning, guys, and good morning to you. American Airlines announced plans this morning to make a record purchase of new planes. The company will buy... Goran Hadic, the last war crimes fugitive from the Balkan Wars, is under arrest this morning. He was captured in northern Serbia after eight years on the run. Fourteen people are in custody this morning after FBI raids rounded up alleged cyber hackers' websites. The group said the attacks were in retaliation for the company's cutting off online donations to WikiLeaks after the website published thousands of secret U.S. diplomatic reports. And, well, that's one way to cool off. Not exactly <laughs> ideal. Here's Maddie Saw with another look at the weather. Good morning. Good morning, Betty. Good morning, everyone at home. We show you the national picture. Aside from the heat, there are a few areas of interest. We continue to take a look at monsoonal rain in the desert southwest they actually need it and then downpours just very heavy downpours in portions of the southeast that happens in the afternoon hours severe weather is really focused around the great lakes and it starts to move eastward again over the overnight hours but we talk about the heat it is covering three quarters of the nation so by tomorrow that amoeba of heat starts to make its way towards the eastern seaboard so 31 states are expected to have some sort of heat advisory watch or warning uh, even though temperatures are in the 90s it's going to feel like triple digits when you factor in the humidity. An area where it's not so hot, the Pacific Northwest, it's actually very cool. Boise was 90 yesterday. It's 81 today. The winds will be light, 10 to 20 miles per hour coming off the Pacific, making things feel somewhat pleasant. That's a look at the weather across the nation. Now let's see what's happening outside your window. 
Thanks so much. That's your latest weather. Now over to Rebecca. Mari, thanks. I actually have a question for you. You have two sons. Are yep. you getting them ready for school yet? Yes, and they get hand-me-downs. I'm sorry. They get hand-me-downs. <laughs> school bags, lunch boxes, all of it. Well, it's good, yeah. but not so good for the retailers. The new school year may be weeks away for kids, but the retailers are already getting started. Major store chains are promoting back-to-school bargains even earlier than usual this year, as CBS News contributor Priya David Clemens reports.